Yo, 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 this is Liam Morley. Or am I Jack Cave now? Who knows? And you're watching Cheap Shot Entertainment. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. I'm currently in the Grover Rooms. So this is Luke from Cheap Shot Entertainment. We're in Sutton for the next future wrestling show. I'll just take you to the outside, it is very cold. Um, the Grosvenor Rooms is where we're at for Future Wrestling, a subsidiary of the old Hope Wrestling. Been going now for two, three years, I believe, uh, featuring such stars as Kip Sabian on these shows. Um, we've got Carl Kingsley, we've got um, Hustle Malone, you may know him now from progress on the WWE Network. He is the current Hope Wrestling, uh, Hope Future Wrestling Champion. Um, these shows, they're £10 for a ticket on the door. Cheaper if you buy them beforehand online. Um, so yeah, it's well worth coming down to these shows. Considering that WWE shows are upwards of £50 a ticket, very much worth doing so these are my new kind of videos i'm going to go through everything that's on the shows i'm going to do some videos as we go through give you a bit of history of what's happening and then do a final thoughts on the show so if you want to find out more about future wrestling join us as we stage a takeover to bring back the hardcore legend known as jack cave So, after the first match, it turns that David Grant actually gets hit in the face with a hidden foreign object and lands on top of his opponent in order to get the pin. What's more worrying here is that there's a load of kids sat to the right of us chanting for dark fruits. And it's not even that nice. Give the kids what they want. Don't give the kids dark fruits. <laughs> We've just been witness just be to Yay! what has to be said. Yay! It was one of the best little four-way matches I've seen at a local show. Joseph Cardinal. Joseph Cardinal Spire's very own home room talent. Got the win over Jack Knudsen with a roll-up where absolutely no tight holding was taking place whatsoever. I couldn't be more thrilled right now. What's happened to you, Joe? What a wrestling match! He's What's come happened to the good to side. He knows. <laughs> so the last match before the interval was in the big man tournament between the big man Raw and the master of the tassel power, Mark Sanders. What a match we have just seen. Two guys just beating the snot out of each other. It ended when Rock went up for another Vader bomb and missed, basically. He, Mark Sanders got back up. He power bombed Rock from the Yay! sidelines and Rock has just turned on Mark Sanders. Yay! Can't believe what I'm seeing here. The people look annoyed. Yes, Rock! And we get one guy talk, cheering for Rock. We're at the interval now. We'll give you more updates as we go along. Stay tuned. Just witness the fourth match on the fast and the futurist or whatever it is, the future and the fasterist or whatever this show is called. 
Really good show so far. Fourth you match. Suck. Kyle Kingsley beats Benjamin Harland with a backbreaker, leaving the fans to ask, where's your hammer gone, Kyle? Where where's has your hammer, your hammer gone? gone? <laughs> see? Are we going to see a something in the ring? Here comes Jack Nutson. Here comes Jack Nutson. Our earlier chance because we Jack, won Jack, Jack actually Jack. worked. And there we go. Kyle Kingston runs away with his hammer between his legs. And we get act two in the ring. Act two! Act two! Act two! Act two! Act two! Celebrated in the ring even after a loss. What a match. The Tag Team Championship match for the Future Tag Team Championship where Pro Team Bendigo and Troy Cruz were defending against Dirtbag Dave, the King of Future, and Brad Matthews, the King of the Turkey Twister. And a fan dominated to the face. Oh, and an RKO by Dirtbag Dave. Oh, that is, that is horrid. Going for the leg now. It was a double count out anyway. Um, this is Jack's chair. It's Jack's chair. Give Jack his chair back. It's Jack's chair. Jack, 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 Jack. Turbank Dave is using Jack Cave's chair with the Lego glue to it. It is the ultimate tool of destruction. This is insane. Here comes Goose to the save. But it might just be a little bit too late. Bendigo is hurt. And Brad Matthews gets the chair to the face. Double count out. Pro team remain the champions. I wonder if they're going to invoke the Freebird rule and bring in some enforcements in the shape of Tank. This one has really broken down. Really good match up to that point though. Come on, Goose, get him! And Goose is still going. He's still working. Chair shot to Brad Matthews. They'll be sucking on Turkey Twizzlers for a week. Yeah, yeah. go on, get Dirtbag Dave. He's coming back for it now. And he's walking away like the chicken king that he is. Going on to the main event now. You silly, silly boy. You see, now you want it. So the show has ended with a title change, and Brett Myers is once again the future heavyweight champion after invoking his rematch clause. If you haven't seen the Future Wrestling page on social media, Brett Myers did put a really good video saying. So he was going to invoke this tonight and doing it in a state of a triple threat match main, meant that there was no disqualification. Also meant that he could bring in his mercenaries to help get his championship back. Something that he believes he never lost. Hustle put up a good fight, so did Sander Zulu, but your new future champion, two time champion is Brett Myers. Really good show tonight. Really enjoyed it. Had some great company here with me as well, including this lady here. And we were hoping that Jack Cave was going to come back. We saw his chair covered in Lego and he just yeah, didn't, make did. the, didn't make the appearance. So we started it right here on Cheap Shot Entertainment. The Bring Back Jack movement. Know, Hashtag right. Bring Back when Jack I, on all social media channels. When I say you are Future, three, what a show. Yeah. Next show, 
is in April. So, days of future past. One more time. It has been phenomenal. What a phenomenal show. It is now finished, and the crowd are going wild. Cheering for Zandu Zulu, cheering for Hossam Malone. I will see you next time right here on Cheap Shot Entertainment. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.